welcome to thursday my thoughts on the book um well i already said i love it but man oh my god i literally thought they were going to be separated at one point like when um achilles had to go to um pelion but yeah man oh i did not expect like when um like patroclus was talking about how like oh a smart person would see like something with the trails and everything i didn't th i thought he was gonna get ambushed like, i thought this, this man was gonna get killed you know but no 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 um achilles was waiting for him and man that just that was so good but also like the way achilles was like a girl like pretending to be a girl okay but like how does that work like do people like not follow him to the bathroom not follow but like it's the bathroom not like you know communal like i don't I don't know, whatever, but um, yeah, man, this book is just wow. Like, the love is so like pure and like strong, and it's just like wow. Like, the way it's written, it's just so like the it's like the message is so like it's just like wow, love, wow, romance, and it's just so like passionate, it's just so nice. So, yeah, um. I also exercised today and yesterday, so I am doing well and I'm probably going to do some more work, I hope like if I don't do work today, that's fine I guess but like I ideally I would like to do some of my constitutional law revision if not, maybe watch Attack on Titan it's okay, Attack on Titan, right? like I like Attack on Titan but like my problem with Attack on Titan and like a lot of animes is that there's so many scenes where it's just like a pan shot or like them being like still like this in like a voiceover and like I understand it's to be dramatic and whatnot but like honestly it's kind of boring in my head but like I like the plot though like I really am enjoying it but it's just like I, I just can't wait till we get to the basement like I just want to know like how is Eren a titan? Like, I understand it's the injection thing, but like, how does this work? Because other people are also titans, and I just... And, like, somehow, I have not stumbled across a spoiler, like, touch wood. I never stumbled across a spoiler because I'm on Twitter, and I'm on book Twitter now. So, like, I follow a lot more people, right? So I'm exposed to more, like, bookish content, and I have come across, like, two gem quotes on accounts and like so one of them was like a kind of big spoiler and I just like it's my fault right like it's not their fault it's my fault but also like it's no one's fault like how was I supposed to know it was gonna be there I couldn't but I still read it even though um I shouldn't have read after I saw the word gem in the quote so but you know it's fine I'm just gonna pretend that I never saw it be really dumb when I read the book and just don't expect anything I'm great but yeah um but other than that, I think that's like pretty chill. That's all I had to say to update you guys. Like, it's kind of boring because obviously, like, honestly, my life is pretty boring. Like, all I do is like wake up at like nine, stay in bed till like ten thirty, and then like eventually go to the toilet and like wash up and get breakfast and then like do something for half an hour, then exercise, and then attempt to study, if not study, read, and then not read, study. Like. So I thought I would share some of my like tabs. So oh, it's kind of hard to like look through my phone. And okay, found it. <gasps> this is the fig scene, man. Like just, just catch, like catch. No, but yeah, it was so good. I just loved how everything was said. Like like ugh, so good, so good. What else do I have? Just like maybe a two more. Oh, this is really hard. Oh, I've seen this quote. Like, um, if you go on like Twitter, or you go on Pinterest, actually. Oh my god, I'm so sorry, book. If you go on Pinterest and you look up, um, Song of Achilles, you will find this quote, or at least a shorter version of this quote. The whole like, tell me, a famous person was happy, and whatnot, and like, man, it was so good. I I don't know why that like it left an impact, but yeah. Let's get an orange one because orange means um it's just writing that I liked. Oh my god, yes. And perhaps it is greater grief after all to be left on earth when another is gone. <sighs> this is foreshadowing, you know. Perhaps I will cry, but hopefully I do not. Actually, it'd be a miracle if I did cry. I don't cry over books. It'd be really funny if I did, and like editing means like dun dun dun.
So, um, this is the first time I'm actually talking to you guys today, but you could have just seen that I was editing and I was actually editing for like a good two hours today because I left it all for today and so now I know that I should edit like as I go along with filming Oh, I was editing the Clockwork Angel video by the way like if you haven't seen it yet, go check it out it was really fun to film because um, we actually didn't talk a lot while we were reading the books which is really weird because normally we talk a lot like about the books we're reading like on text and everything and we'll just like spam each other about like whatnot if you haven't seen it, go check it out. It will be out by the time this one is up because I am literally uploading it right now. Um, reading update. Oh, actually, before that, I this is a camera that someone got me for my birthday, which is um kind of weird because I was like what ten, yeah, maybe ten, and um it's so old, <laughs> but I charged it and I would use it to um, film, but it's just. My camera quality on my phone is better than this, so um, that's not going to be happening anytime soon. But as for reading, I have reached the part where the war is really kicking off because um, they see the sign from whatever. I forget names so much, it's actually kind of ridiculous at this point. Like, Also, I appreciate how like, even though it's like a romance, Mandolin Miller doesn't shy away from like talking about the really like ugly ugly sides of war like war's ugly right but like other than fighting a lot of other things happen and like during the entire like chapter about like the women who are taken to like the camps and everything I just felt so sad because like obviously I know what happens I did um history and everything like during school so I learned quite a bit about it but it never makes reading about it any easier like even though the words are like so pretty and like aren't as gory or as like blunt you still feel the impact like, you still feel so sad but yeah um i'm about to do some law work i think i don't know my hands are kind of like hurting because um i was like on my laptop a lot and i have like that hand problem where um like if i hold open a book for too long like if i hold a book like this like if my thumb is like this it'll hurt same with like typing so i might just take a break and maybe watch an anime i might watch attack on titan because i am still watching the same episode i've been watching for like maybe a month now so um i'm going to fix that if not i'll be re-watching full metal alchemist brotherhood because that show is so good like oh my god like i like every single part of that show is so good like, the characters were like phenomenal i just love all like the seven deadly sins like the way was it envy yeah, the way envy died like that line where it was like oh like, you don't hate humans like you're envious of humans because like we have everything that you want like a family and friends and i just like whoa, like whoa that's all for now i'll see you in a bit welcome back to my floor well a different part of my floor actually this is like obviously in front of my bed <laughs> but yeah it's actually been two days since i last checked them with you guys because um the weekend that just passed it was like a birthday weekend for like my friend and my mom so i didn't really do anything but like do birthday things with them so um i didn't really need to as it was much to film basically like i woke up late and then read some comics and then i got ready and then went out or i just spent the entire day with like my mom's friends and just my mom and like family so yeah, but I'm back and um, I actually finished The Song of Achilles uh, I actually finished it on the Friday that I last filmed Or at least I'm pretty sure I filmed on Friday If I didn't, well, um, that's really um, upsetting <laughs> But yeah, I finished it on Friday at like 2.12am Like I started reading that day at like I think either 11.30 or midnight And I just like, I was I think maybe 93 pages left So I said I'm gonna one shot it because it shouldn't be that much but then I forgot how slow I read <laughs> so it took me like two hours but uh, I don't regret it at all <laughs> it was so good like the ending I don't know anything about the Iliad so I actually don't know how um, the story is supposed to unfold so I just like went in blind and I just you know figured out as I went on and I knew someone was going to die but <laughs> I didn't know they were both going to <laughs> But th that last line was so good, like, uh, I think I might just want to reread the entire book again so that I can just like go in and really like appreciate the writing and the language because it was just so beautiful. Like the way 
Madeline Miller just like writes it's just so beautiful and there was never a part that I did not enjoy reading like every single part of that book was so nice to read and I so like oh my blankie i really liked the whole discussion about arrogance and ego like i found the way she wrote about it so like like amazing like the way she wrote about how achilles was slowly becoming into someone that he wasn't at the beginning of the book like i love that whole like part of the book like it was so good and just oh it was amazing like if you haven't read it like i completely recommend it like i think it's gonna be a favorite i think it could be the first five star read no it's not it's not my second five star read of the year my birthday just passed not just it's been a week it's my birthday and i have gotten books for my birthday and i'm very happy about that because all i really wanted this year was either um books or a bookshelf or bed sheets which i did get these are actually from my cousin and i'm very happy about them they're very pretty and they're floral and i love floral so yeah um this is actually my first video on the channel that's gonna be just me and it's kind of like intimidating because I don't really think I'm a fun person to like watch at least because when I'm in groups of people like, I'm normally the person who just like sits there and just listens and you know doesn't really talk much so like doing this is kind of like scary because like oh like, I wonder what people will think like if people are gonna enjoy like the stuff that I put out but I shouldn't really be thinking about that because I just want to document my life and just remember you know what i enjoyed when i was 19 and like things i got to so um if you're looking for the song of achilles review i don't think that will be in this video i think i'd like to do like a whole um first quarter wrap up because um i didn't obviously the channel's new and i've read books in january and february so i think i'd like to do a quarterly wrap up because i don't read enough books to do a monthly wrap up the reason why i'm on my floor is because well first of all this part of my room is the most colorful and i feel like um my room's kind of boring to look at but i'm actually also on my floor because i wanted to do a little book haul because as i mentioned i got books for my birthday and i don't know i think it'd be nice to show you guys i like watching book hauls i'm not gonna go in depth about everything because i don't know um like everything about the books that i bought i just know like roughly what they're about or i've like seen other people read them and i was like whoa i need to read that so i'll actually start with um the books that satch got me for my birthday she got me she spoiled me like this woman she got me too much like i i'm obviously so thankful for this but like wow when i she got me a box and i had to open it and there were like two books in there and the minute oh my god like i'll just show you what okay one of the ones she got me so as you know i love heartstopper like i am always so tempted to reread heartstopper but she got me the first book in the heartstopper series and the minute like i saw this part only because it was covered by another book and the minute i saw it i screamed like i knew what it was gonna be like i'm so happy to have this like i was already thinking about buying the books for myself because i just love the series so much and I, you know like it'd be nice to have a physical version of it and i like how she got me the newer editions because like the uh, first print were like smaller and now all of them are like this really big size like it's as big as my head which is um i guess big i don't know but yeah i am beyond thankful for this and then she got me Gatsby because I've been thinking about reading Gatsby. I actually never read Gatsby. I watched a movie. I don't remember much about it. Um, so <laughs> I actually wanted to read Gatsby because um, The Chosen, The Beautiful is coming out this year and I really want to read it. And when I found out it was like a retelling of The Great Gatsby, I was like, I need to read the first, I need to read the original like, you know, book because, you know, why not? Oh, and then she got me the bear and the nightingale, which I think I've been eyeing this book for like maybe a year and a half now. And whenever I went to the store, they never have it. Uh, fun story, she actually got me two copies of this. Well, like not me, but she got one copy and it was like scuffed, I think, over here maybe. And she'd ask me, like, is it okay if it's scuffed? And I said, yeah, it's fine. Like, I don't care. It sounds like I read the book. And then she still got me this this edition like this newer um version of the book not newer but like better um quality like condition uh this is top of my head i just know it's like i think russian 
folklore, I think. Yes. Yes. It's a fantasy. I don't know if it's middle grade or young adult. I, I feel like it's a middle grade. But um, I really vaguely remember what it's about. And then I got the Mutual Nightmares. I actually got this for myself uh, as a birthday present. I actually bought myself like five books for my birthday. Well, I say it's for my birthday to like, justify it, but like really I just wanted them and I paid for them with my own money. So I guess I could say it's like a good birthday present to myself. But this is one of them. I actually have Streams of Dreamer as well. Um, it's over here now. <laughs> Yes, I got them in one paperback and one uh, hardback and yes, I also got them in the two different uh, editions because I like this more for Strange Dreamer and I like this one more for Muse of Nightmares so I did it. You know what? It's fine. Like, I'm fine. Like, it's fine. But also, I didn't know this but it's signed like i didn't even know it'd be signed and i'm like wow i love her writing like Lainey taylor it was so beautiful i already read uh stranger dreamer as you can tell like i've i finished it like beginning of march but yeah it was so good i'm thinking of picking up Muse of nightmares like after clockwork prince maybe i'm not too sure i need to really figure out what books i want to read in what order because i'm really like I keep changing my mind. Oh, my bangs. I don't like how they look anymore. I think I want to cut them. But yeah. But I also got um, 1Q84 by Murakami. Um, oh, the price tag is still on there. Uh, I know that Norwegian Wood is like not more well known, but is like the one that most people read. So I guess well known then. Good job, Lisa. And then I got, um, I've already read this as well. Some, okay, yes, I forgot to mention some of these books I've already read, but I just got this year. Um, obviously, I bought Clockwork Prince, set Clockwork Angel, and Song of Achilles um, this year, but because I have like videos dedicated to it, I didn't really see the point of including them in this haul. But yeah, I did get those this year. Uh, Song of Achilles was gifted to me by Satch, and I got Clockwork Angel. And then I got myself The Importance of Being Earnest by Oscar Wilde. I read this in February while waiting for my book depository shipment, which had Stranger Dreamer in it because I actually started Stranger Dreamer as an ebook, but I can't really follow ebooks really well. Like my eyes just can't follow the words and it just takes me so long and I get so agitated because I want to like finish the book. I, I want to know more, but I, I literally can't read. So I ordered it. And so while I was waiting for that, I didn't want to start like a whole big book or series, so I just opted to like read tiny tiny books. So I got this and then I read The Little Prince. This was gifted to me as a really late secret Santa gift from my friend from A-Levels. It's See You in the Cosmos by Jack Chung. Uh, I just know it's kind of sad and like I like sad books, it makes me happy. I also got The Levers by Lisa Ko. Six of Crows. So uh, this is actually Satch bought two of these by mistake. So I you know, bought the second one off of her for like a lot cheaper than what she got it for. So I'm very thankful for that. But yeah, I can't wait to read this. It's um, it's pretty edges. Uh, it's like I think maybe number two or three on my like wanting to read next list. Cause I'm actually not reading anything right now. So it's between Clockwork Prince, Six of Crows, and the book that I read before I saw Achilles, which was uh, Raven Tower, but I read like 20 pages in and then I dumped it for Song of Achilles, so I might go back to it and finish it before I start something new. I don't know. Um, but then uh, I also got Anna Karenina. My, I asked my mom to get me this for my birthday this year. So yeah, um, I watched this girl named Emma on booktube and she talked about it. Then I got Mythos by Stephen Fry. I saw Jack Edwards talk about this and I just wanted to get it because I like Greek mythology and I actually want to know a lot more about it because all I know is just based off like movies and <laughs> Heroes of Olympus <laughs> so yeah and like uh, one podcast on Spotify called I can't remember if it's Myth and Legends so I listen to or let's talk about Myths baby one of the two but the, yeah um so yeah I'm very excited to read this I might read that soon and then I got Tales of Ancient Egypt because um, 
I've been really interested about the ancient world because I did ancient Egypt in like year three, like so many years ago. And I just want to like, and I got a thousand beginnings and endings, endings. And this is an anthology of 16 retellings of Asian myths and legends. Um, these are all the authors included in the book. I'm really excited for this, like so excited. I don't know if any of um, the myths or legends feature one from Malaysia. I don't think so. No, they don't, but I'm still excited nonetheless. And then I got Hall of Smoke by H.M. Long. This is her debut novel. Very excited. I don't think I've heard anyone talk about this on booktube or book twitter so and then uh, this is the book that I'm currently reading I guess The Raven Tower by Anne Leckie um yeah it's about gods and humans again like I have so many books about gods and humans I could honestly dedicate an entire like shelf to it or not shelf but like part of a shelf to it but yeah I'm so far enjoying this it's um narration is really interesting because it's like someone's talking to you like they say you a lot so like like oh but you didn't see that or you didn't know and i really in i like that because that's the first book i think that i've not i think i know this is the first book where they've done that and it's really interesting so yeah and then i got phantom of the opera again because emma talked about it an entire video dedicated to phantom of the opera and the way she talked about it it sold me like it just sold me like the way she talks about books is so like amazing like she talks about it with so much like soul and like energy and love that it really makes you want to read every single book she's ever talked about <laughs> i hope you enjoyed watching um yeah if you have any recommendations for me like books wise book wise leave it down below if you guys are following me on twitter i'm not that active but i do talk about the books i'm reading or just talk about like uni or like just whatever that pops into my head i just go tweet it um if you're interested in seeing more of me or such uh subscribe it'd be really nice to have you around bye